Once you have completed your camera setup on the Jaeger Pro Wireless website and created an admin access code or guest access code under the mobile access page, your next step is to upload the Android app to your phone. Visit your Google Play Store and search for Jaeger Pro Wireless. Install the app with our logo. Once it is complete, tap to open it. It will create a new icon on your phone. The first screen you will see is the home page. In the top left, tap on the menu icon. This will show you home, view photos, status report, camera settings, authentication, mobile settings, and about. Tap on authentication. Tap on the plus icon in the top right to add a new device. It will ask for your account ID and access code. Type them in and then click on Add. At the bottom, click on Authenticate. Bring up the menu and click on Home. For best operation, allow your camera and phone to run for 12 to 24 hours to allow for the syncing process from your camera to the server and to upload all content to your mobile app. The only option you cannot do from your mobile app is to add or change recipients. This must be done from the Jaeger Pro Wireless website. To complete the remainder of the process, you will first need to tap on Mobile Settings. Turn Download Only When Wi-Fi is Available to Off. Tap on the Menu button and back to Home. Download any photos from the server by clicking on the Menu button, then Download Photos. Your phone will check the server for any new photos and send them to your app. You will now see the most recent photo on the left. The camera name, model ID, battery strength, and signal strength. Clicking on this will bring up the following. Camera settings, status report, view photos, take photo now, download photos, and if it is a mine camera, it will have close gate as the last option. If one or more are not visible, scroll down inside the drop-down box to show the remainder. Guest access will not have the option to take a photo or close the gate. The first item is camera settings. This provides the same information found on the Jaeger Pro Wireless website and is the same as opening up the main menu and clicking on settings. When you open this up, it will automatically download the camera settings. You can make and save changes to your camera settings from this location. In the top right is a select camera button. Opening this will show which camera you are currently looking at. If you have multiple cameras set up, you can change them by clicking on this icon. From the drop down menu, you can choose the following commands. Refresh, update camera settings, or retrieve camera settings. At the bottom, in orange, is Save Settings. This will just save the settings. Guest Access will not be able to make any changes. Tap Menu and Return Home. The second item is Status Report. This is the same from the website and will show the following information. Camera Name, Battery Symbol, Signal Strength, SD Card Size, SD Card Free Space, Temperature, firmware, IP address, photos this month, photos lifetime, and the status date and time when it was last sent. Below this is command history. It will show your previously sent commands and their status. If you have not sent any commands, it will be blank. Action, date requested, date completed, status, camera message. The top right has the select camera button and a refresh button. Lastly is Request Status Report. Clicking this orange button will ask to send an updated status report to the server. Tap Menu and Return Home. The third item is View Photos. This will bring up a collage of all the photos. Tapping on the photo will also bring up all the photos. The top right has the Select Camera button. 
Tapping in a photo will bring up a large photo and have the Select Camera button and a drop-down menu. Selecting the drop-down menu will bring up the following options. Delete, Save, Request High-Res Photo, Play Slideshow, and Download Photos. Selecting Delete will delete the photo. Selecting Save will save the photo on your phone with an icon in the bottom right corner. They will not be purged. Photos will still be deleted from the server after 30 days. Request High Res Photo will send you a high definition photo. Currently, all photos are compressed to 80 kilobytes or less for sending quickly to the server. Requesting a high res photo will send it in its actual size 3, 5, or 8 megapixels from your SD card. This can take time to send, so make sure it is a photo you want to save. Play Slideshow will start cycling through your photos. To stop the slideshow, open the menu and choose Stop Slideshow. The fourth item is Take Photo Now. This will send a command to take a photo. The next photo you receive should have an S at the bottom next to JaegerPro. The fifth item is Download Photos. Depending on your phone's settings, if they are not automatically downloaded, click on this button to download photos. The sixth item is Close Gate. This will send the code to drop your gate. There is no confirmation, so make sure you are ready when you push this button. The menu items just covered are the same for the top left menu items with the following items not previously covered. Mobile Settings, About, and System Log. Clicking on Mobile Settings will bring up the following. Send Direct SMS Commands. This will show the list of all your authenticated cameras you have access to. Switching this from off to on will allow the app to access your messaging system and send the code as a SMS command. It will do this in the background and takes a few seconds longer to send out. When new photo is available, automatically download off or on. When this is turned off, you can manually request to download photos as previously described. Leaving it on will automatically download photos when they are available. Download only when Wi-Fi is available. If you are concerned with saving data usage, turn this on so that it will only download when Wi-Fi is available or keep it turned off if you do not have Wi-Fi access. When selecting a single photo, confirm delete off or on. If this is turned on, it will ask you prior to deleting any selected photos. Confirm high res request. If this is turned on, it will ask you prior to requesting any selected photos. It's better to download to your computer than your phone due to the size of the photo selected. Show notification can be set to off or on. Play notification sound can be set to off or on. Photos. Auto purge days can be set from off to 180 days. Photos that have been saved will not be purged and remain on your device. Photos will be saved on the server for 30 days. Photos are not purged from your SD card. Reset quick tips. This will turn the quick tips on. Select menu and clicking about will bring up the following information. Application version. Mobile ID, OS version, model, serial, and screen dimensions. Select menu and clicking system log will bring up the system log with everything the app has completed through your camera. Selecting the trash can will ask if you want to clean out your log. Selecting yes will delete your log inventory. Select menu and return home. Now you're ready to use the mobile app to control the mine camera and effectively capture feral pigs on your property. Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the methods and technology needed to better control feral pig populations in your area. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel to view our entire instructional video series. Once online, keep clicking and like the Jaeger Pro Hall Control Systems Facebook page. If you have a story idea or just want to leave us a comment or suggestion, feel free to send us a message through Facebook or email us at info at